The Jones Day IP practice, I think, differentiates from other practices in several ways. We do litigation, we do patent prosecution, we do licensing and technology transactions, we do trademarks. Why do we do all that? We do that because IP is what drives our clients, and we want to be able to handle all their most important matters. And litigation, for example, in the patent area, which is one of the biggest things we do, if we know how you get a patent and we are excellent at getting it, I think it makes us better at defending and enforcing it. From a defense side, if you're accused of patent infringement, there can be other non-financial considerations when evaluating that lawsuit. It may be, for example, that if you settle with plaintiffs, you're just going to encourage additional lawsuits in order to try and extract similar settlements. Other times, from a patent owner standpoint, if a patent owner is looking to enforce their patent, there can be reasons beyond simply just obtaining a damages verdict in that particular case. When you are willing to go out and enforce your patent, other companies in that same industry pay attention to that, and they recognize that you're willing as a company to enforce your intellectual property rights and that you don't take infringement lightly. And that can be profile raising for the company. It can also defer other companies from going into that technology area. The Jones Day IP practice has a tremendous technology transactions practice in terms of strength and number of lawyers and experience. So technology transactions take all shapes and sizes. We represent a number of different companies in cross-licensing, collaboration, sharing technologies in order to come up with better ideas or better and faster solutions to problems. I mean, one of the big things that we're seeing in the industry today are uh, industrial companies in the Midwest of the United States are becoming more technology savvy because they're applying uh, internet technology and smartphone technology to their businesses by sometimes by necessity and sometimes to have a, an advantage in the marketplace. So they're buying technology and taking it in at a very fast pace and we're very involved in those transactions. Our life sciences practice in IP is really special. When someone's going out to develop a new medicine, having strong IP protection is absolutely critical to their success and for their ability to raise money to actually bring the drug to market. In the United States, it costs about a billion dollars and takes about 10 years to get a drug approved. And if you don't have the right patent protection, you're never gonna be able to raise money and you're not gonna get anyone to invest and you'll never be able to bring the drug to market. One of the things that we do is we can develop your IP plan early on and make investors more attracted to your company because of the strength of the IP. We also have lots of experience litigating IP in both the Hatch-Waxman setting, which is the laws that relate to how generic drugs come to the market. We are always anticipating what our clients' needs are in life sciences because we're so entrenched in the industry. We keep a good tab on the changes in the laws that we know that are gonna impact our clients, including FDA laws and other regulatory antitrust laws, tax laws, IP laws. Because of our geographic reach and also our practice diversity, we get to, as IP lawyers, work with lawyers in all different practice areas. So on a regular basis, I'll interact with antitrust lawyers, tax lawyers, our trial practice lawyers, government investigations, pricing issues. Now we have folks specializing in blockchain. We really have a very collaborative culture as a firm, which I've emphasized in IP because I truly believe that we're stronger as a team than as individuals.